In this video, I'll be answering one of the most asked questions to me whenever someone learns that I'm a pilot. I'll be answering how much money does a pilot make at different ranks throughout his career. I'll be also giving a salary breakup that is what all contributes and makes up the final figures that the pilot gets at the end of the month. So if you are ready, fasten those seatbelts because we are ready for takeoff. What's up fellow aviators and welcome back to the Flytuber, flying simplified through YouTube. My name is Elias Ghar and on this channel I talk about interesting aviation facts and aircraft knowledge. So if you are an aviation enthusiast and are passionate about aircrafts and flying, consider subscribing. So I'll start first with the salary breakup so you know what these allowances are called, what do they mean and how they add up to the final salary that a pilot gets. I'll also put them here on the screen so that it's easier for you to follow along. I'll then share the final figures that a pilot gets at different ranks in his career. So first up is basic salary, it's just a base pay or an initial salary paid to the pilot uh, which does not include any allowances or bonuses added to it and uh, it's exactly this pay on which the other allowances and bonuses are added on. Next up is HRA or house rent allowance. As the name suggests, this is an allowance paid to the pilot so that he can pay his rent. Now, many people ask that the pilots are living in their own home, are even they paid this allowance? And the answer to that is yes, even they are paid this allowance. The only catch here is that they cannot claim this salary under tax exemptions. Basic salary and HRA are the short salaries that a pilot gets no matter if he flies or not. Now, if you are curious that can a pilot earn even if it is not flying, let's save that for another video. On top of the basic salary and HRA, a pilot also gets a flying allowance. Now, this flying allowance is only paid to the line released pilots or those pilots who are flying the actual aircraft and are done with their training. It has two parts, hourly pay and sector allowance. Now, there is a set pay per hour and per sector from the airline which is different for different ranked pilots. So, the total flying allowance you earn in a month basically depends upon the number of flying hours you fly and the number of sectors you fly in that particular month. On a side note, there is something called guaranteed flying hours and guaranteed sectors. Now, what is this? For example, guaranteed flying hours is 50 hours and guaranteed sectors is 50 sectors. So, if a pilot flies 50 hours or 50 sectors, fly karta hai, to, to it is balanced. But, if a pilot is fly karta hai, if he flies for lesser number of hours and lesser number of sectors, even then, the airline pays him for that guaranteed 50 hours and 50 sectors. Now, apart from these, there's something else known as overtime allowance. And as the name suggests, this is the pay which a pilot gets when he flies over and above those guaranteed hours or sectors which I have specified earlier. Apart from all this, there are other pays and bonuses which a pilot gets, such as layover allowance, which a pilot gets for each night that he stays away from his home base. Another example I can give is a loyalty bonus which a pilot gets uh, when he has stayed with the airline for a certain number of years showing that he is loyal towards the airline. Also, uh, the trainers and examiners get additional pay for their qualification and their services. Same goes with the management pilots. There is also something known as kit maintenance allowance because our white uniforms need to be crisply ironed and needs to stay shining always. Let's jump to the main stuff we are all here for. What are the final figures that pilots get at different ranks? But before that, if you are interested to know more about what these ranks are and how do the pilots get promoted through these ranks, you might as well watch the previous video which I made on pilot ranks and promotions. The video will be coming up here or down in the description below. So go check the video out. Just few very important points before I give you the actual figures. Firstly, that these are average salaries, but most of the airlines have a pay structure very close to these figures so it will prove a very good estimate however it also depends on the type of aircraft you are flying and the seniority in your company another point is that these values are in INR or Indian national rupees and these are monthly salaries also the figures might sound very impressive but a point not to forget is that these salaries are also taxable meaning that after income tax deductions only do these salaries get paid to the account so the actual figures that you get will be a lot lesser. And lastly, these salaries do not include the overtime allowance or the labor allowance because these are very dynamic values and it depends. Maybe you may have flown more a month or lesser in another. So I'm not including those either. Now to start off, first up is a second officer. 
uh, when under training they get close to about 1 lakh rupees generally uh, because these do not include the flying allowance although once they are line released the flying allowance is also included and the salary they get is about 1.5 to 1.8 lakh rupees a month next is a first officer salary uh, once you become a first officer you get a salary of close to about 2.8 to 3.2 lakh rupees a month again you might also earn over and above this depending upon your bonuses your layover allowances and your overtime allowances now once you become an sfo you get about 3.6 lakh rupees or even up to 4 lakh rupees in certain airlines per month and as captains you earn about 6.4 lakhs to 7 lakh rupees per month varying and depending upon the airlines and your seniority and the trainers and instructors that is the ltc and tris etc uh, they get close to about 70000 rupees to 1.5 lakh rupees extra over and above what a captain's pay is taking the total to about uh, 7 to 8 lakh rupees per month or even it may go to 8.5 lakhs and examiners obviously these are the highest grade pilots in an airline they get close to about 2 lakh rupees over and above a captain's pay taking the total to about 8.5 to 9 lakh rupees a month now like i said previously that there are additional bonuses etc uh, which add on on these figures and yes i do admit that uh, these salaries are pretty sweet figures when compared to other fields question of the day are you interested to know that why these impressive salary figures are paid to the pilots kafi log ye puchhte hain ki bhai pilot ka kaam hi kya hota hai they just take off baithe rehte puri flight pe and then they land so why are they paid such impressive salaries if you want to know why we are paid these salaries comment below well fellow gators that's it for this video if you like the content smash that like button and do share the content to your friends because initially your support means a lot and it does help a lot this is Elias Gar signing off. I'll see you in the next video. Happy landings till then.